What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Matt Stingray. Thanks for checking in to The Rock, The Watch Channel. Guys, today, yeah, we are going to do the full review of the Eterna Contiki Four Hands Eternamatic. But before we do that, quick wrist watch check. What am I rocking today? Today I am rocking my Rolex Milgauss. It's a sweet watch. So let's get this bad boy over to the table and take a look at the Eterna Contiki Four Hands Eternamatic. And let's rock this watch. <laughs> All right, guys, so here it is, the Eterna Contiki Four Hands Eternomatic. Let's just uh, zoom in and take a look at this dial for a second. It's very, very nice watch, guys. Eterna is extremely underrated. It, it's actually kind of sad how underrated they are, and they make very nice watches. So let's get into the specs and features of this watch. This watch has a 42 millimeter case. It is 12 millimeters thick to that domed sapphire crystal, as you can see. 47 millimeter lug to lug, and it has a 22 millimeter lug width. It is powered by the ETA 2836-2, which is probably because it has that center date, which we will talk about later. It has 120 meters of water resistance. That's kind of weird. 120 meters, it's a little screw down crown here, but 120 meters, it's kind of, I don't know, that's odd. It, uh, said, as stated before, it does have a sapphire crystal with some ridiculous AR coating, which is being picked up right there. It has a three o'clock signed screw down crown with no crown guards. Okay, the bracelet is the, uh, it has a 22 millimeter bracelet. All right, tapering down to 20 millimeters. It is solid links, solid end links, held together by some massive screw pins. All right, it is, it has the double pusher, fully milled class. Let me, let me show you something about this. Eterna's are, which is signed with Eterna, by the way, are extremely overbuilt. They are fantastic. Look at how thick, let me zoom in here a little bit. Look at how thick and solid, look at that. That is solid as solid can be. Everything is milled, clasped, fold over, all solid stainless steel. No thin, you know, no, corners cut on this bad boy. It's really nice. So uh, let's get a look at, zoom in here and again and get a look at the case back. It says Eterna. It has a picture of the 120 millimeter resist, uh, water resistant Eternomatic Contiki. It's got some more numbers there and the ship is, there we go. A little ship on the back there which has a story behind it. And we'll talk about that after we take a look at the dial here again. As you can see, it has 12, three, six, and nine, which are the only numbers on the outside, all as inset in triangles, which are loomed. The date, the reason I dig this is it's very clean because the date is in the inside. There's a date wheel on the inside, as you can see, it says Eterna at the 12. Contiki Eternomatic at the six o'clock Swiss made. It has some very nice sword hands that go all the way out, almost all the way out to the chapter ring. And this one touches the inside of the uh, hour markers. The minute goes all the way out to the end of the chapter ring. And there is the inset date with all the odd numbers right around and the 31 in red. So it's really quite unique. And uh, um, I really dig this watch, but let me show you how, what it's like to unscrew the crown. Of course, second out and you are changing the time. Go back in, let's just give it one pop and there we go. 
don't know if you can hear it. Very cool on around to set the date. It's a super well-built watch that does not get the respect it deserves. I think Eterna, shout out again to Watch Chris for helping me find this bad boy on eBay and getting it. Um, shout out to the previous owner, just hit me up on the, uh, the unboxing video, man. It, it, it's a fantastic watch and Chris was the one that he turned me on to Eterna. He's like, man, you got to check out the brand Eterna. He's a huge fan of Eterna, and I understand why. These are great watches. These are fantastic watches. So, a little story about the Contiki and the name Contiki. So, Contiki was an expedition taken in 1947 across the Pacific Ocean to the Polynesian Islands, all right, by Norwegian Thor Heyerdahl. I hope I'm saying his last name right. He built a raft out of the materials available, all right, on the where he was at, and named it the Kantiki, which is uh, the name for the Inca god Viracocha. Kantiki was also the name of the book he wrote. There was a movie, and his goal was to prove that the ancient people could have made the trip across the Pacific Ocean to the Polynesian Islands, and that's probably how they were inhabited. I think that was his theory behind the whole thing. So that's the theme, which is, which is you know, the ship, and I'll roll some pictures of it in, and it's in the thumbnail and stuff like that. So that's what the whole theme behind this is. It's super cool. It's a great watch. What do I not like about it? Well, there's just a few things. All right, the water resistance, 120 meters. That's kind of weird. You couldn't have made it 100 or 200. I mean, honestly, you couldn't have made it 200. That would have been a little bit nicer. The one thing, the one negative about this being such a great clasp that is solid built, look how thick it is and how it sits right there. It's thinner on this end than it is on that end, but it is really thick when it doesn't sit down inside like some of the other class do. It sits high. I mean, look at that. See how much higher it is right there? So it's really, really thick there. Now you can adjust the bracelet to fit on there, but that's, that's kind of a downside. So let's get this Milgauss off and see what this bad boy looks on the wrist. I really do like this, this watch, guys. This is a great watch. Yeah, so... There it is, man. Looking fantastic. And there's no, I mean, it integrates, the bracelet integrates beautifully on here. So let's get a loom shot. See what this bad boy looks like in the loom department. Hit it up there and click this light out. And there it is. Super unique, super cool. Yeah, dude, fantastic watch. It's fantastic. I have only very minor complaints about it. So let's go back and uh, get the final thoughts. All right, guys, so there it is. The Eterna Contiki Four Hands Eternomatic. Guys, are you familiar with Eterna? Have you heard of these guys? What do you think about them? If you haven't, please go check them out. Go check them out on eBay. Go check them around. Eterna makes fantastic watches. Modern, modern Eterna makes some great watches. Now, it's a plus for us, but unfortunately for them, these things do not hold their value. So you can get a fantastic bargain on a fantastic watch by checking out Eterna. So guys, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and as always, rock that watch.